Okay, friends. Let's continue products management. In this video, we will cover product listing. As you can see, inside the admin panel, I already add some dummy products. Total ten. Okay. Now we will display in our front end. If user type products and we will display all products here then uh, later we will filter by category everything but now we will create product blade and route so go to your editor resources view front inside the front you will create a new file products dot blade PHP okay now inside your folder you will find theme this is HTML theme in this theme you will see listing dot PHP just copy all data and paste in your new products blade page save it close your listing dot PHP okay inside this code you can see include header and include footer actually you don't need this type of include you just extend your view of master.blade for that you will put here extend function by blade laravel extends and put your master with folder name front master okay and this is your selected content you can change it according to your for now i will now put here section called content and when your If is closed you will have end the section okay remove this footer.php just save it now you need to set your route web.php here you will put new route for products route view I say if user click on products then it will show front dot products Sorry. products okay refresh the page now you can see it's your new page with listing dot php data but image not display because we have to set that Go to your editor, product blade page, search your image source. Here is your product images. Okay. To set this, just copy this fill slash and paste here. We will replace with actual path. Actual path is config get app dot ul. It will set your actual site URL automatically. And before image, you will say theme slash image. Just replace all and save it. Go to your browser refresh product blade page. Okay, you have a error okay uh, I think get okay I'm a good I have to set this URL and uh, you can see URL okay replace it it by mistake save it reload 
as you can see one more mistake here is hyphen okay don't save it okay now you can see your product image is come now we need to display this actual product information place of this dummy information okay first of all we will display images product name and something like this price okay so go to the editor here you can see columns six and four just x this minimize div and use php command to command this all products you can left only one okay here you will put your loop okay for that you have to go to web.php and put here I mean pass a data or you can name it anything okay I name it data and pass the array array of product for now it will be all all data okay now here you will say for each is data contain your array and close your porridge save it extend your column try to change the name and image okay here you will say pro name it is your mysql column name make a soft wrap okay and here you will change the product image source you don't need theme because you have a image saved in public image here is your products okay so make it public image change the name name by dynamically your array pro image save it refresh now you can see is your dynamically product is coming all product one two three four five six seven eight nine ten all product is there okay now we will display price and if we can display description also let me check here you will say pro price I mean product price and let me check what we can make here is product code so you can display here product code variable P product code with uh, go to your front end reload here is product code product price okay uh, let me change it add a one more column you can use terminal to add column and you can use php my admin to add a column go here products structure add here column anywhere you can put here name it info or you can say pro info text anything you can add here okay here you will display here text area to update this information okay go to your resources view admin and here is edit button
copy this, paste it. Simple. You can name it anything. Just in the view. And here is pro info. Okay. ID pro info. That's all. Save it. Go to here. JavaScript code. Here is pro info. Variable. So info your ID dot value. Okay. And here you can put or you can copy this also. So info plus sign. Not here. Wait a minute. I'm a little confused. Here. You can put here with and sign pro info equal to your variable name product name. Save it. Okay. Now check your edit and here is product name for but change it text area. Text area, okay. This text area don't contain any value. It will display between text. Okay, save it. Reload. Now you can put here some. And product is updated. Let me check. Dummy product dummy one two four. Okay, it's not. It will not update. I think we have mistake here. Inspect console. Save it. Network. You can see what is pass and what is not pass. Is product okay? Main thing is your controller need to update according to your column. App HTTP controller. Go to your product controller. And not here. Sorry, is here. Save product and edit product. Here you will say pro info pro info. That's okay. Uh, let me change it and put some value for product info. Click on submit and here submit. Uh, let me check in my SQL admin. No, it's not done. Say product. You can see it's going. Response also done. Uh, where is okay? Is insert okay? You put to here also. Product info. So info. Okay, uh, and this is empty, so you have to put here product info request product info because you can see here is product info. This one you have to put here is coming here store here and passing here save it now this is final if you enter the value in this text area and click on submit button it will save
you can see is product info now time to display here okay is by default image changed so let me change the any image for now upload okay uh, here is a update okay we don't need here actually we don't need here image update okay while you are update something reload okay now try to change the price and info submit okay reload not here actually here is reload and you can see product image not changed okay now reload your front end and you need to display your information here go to your product blade here you will put br span plus hidden extra small and here you will put variable p pro info reload now you can see we have here data for your product info okay other have not nothing so i will put here manually okay you can do it professionally i just show you the basics Well, let me complete this any values you can put here now reload your front end product listing you will see some data. okay I think you don't need to put here span again only br is okay save it reload now uh, this is okay okay that's nice okay guys in this next video we will categorize by products shop category and product category uh, actually this will product categories this will some filter price filter so we will cover it in upcoming videos okay thank you